Welcome to New Year's worship at Trinity Downtown. We're so glad that you've joined us here to ring in the new year. And because 2020 has been a year we've all experienced new, er, new and different things in, we thought this year for New Year's worship, we'd do something different too, and maybe something you've never done before, and that's actually worship in the bell tower at Trinity Downtown. Now with me, I've got some of the youth in our youth group, along with our director of youth and children's ministries at Trinity Downtown, Haley Davison. They're all gonna help us with worship. So it, let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and head up for worship. Come on, you guys. That was great, Carla. Thanks. We're here in the bell tower. This is Carla Barrows, our organist. But uh, while she, you may see her as our organist, she actually plays our bells too. Carla, will you introduce this instrument to all of us? Sure. We have a 25 bell carillon here at Trinity, and we've had this since 1954. It was a wonderful gift from the Monkey family. And uh, this is called a clavier, and these are called batons. It's a uh, mechanical instrument, so as soon as I play the baton, this wire goes up to the bells. And that, uh, in each one of these bells, it's a baton. So it's a wonderful instrument. I'm glad you're up here. Thank you. Thanks, Carla. You're welcome. This Bible passage came across my computer the other day and it really struck me and I want to share it with you. It's Psalm 77 verse 5. There the psalmist says, I consider the days of old, the years long ago. And as we come to the end of 2020, I thought it would be good for us to think a little bit about the year past. Now it'd be easy to think of all the things that have gone wrong in this past year, but it hasn't been all bad. And so what I thought I would do is ask some of the people that are with me what they learned and what was good about this year gone by. So Joel, let's start with you. I've learned to adapt to things when they're not normal or right. Excellent. Michael, how about you? I've learned to be more patient with others. Madeline. I learned how to not take things for granted. And Haley. I learned to be resilient. Excellent. Those are good things that have come out of what many would call a very difficult year. And the reason why I'd say those are good things is because God's been a part of 2020. So there are gonna be good things in this year and blessings. So now let's head up to all the way to the top in the bell tower and look ahead to 2021.
So we're all the way up at the top in the bell tower and those wires that Carla showed you just a moment ago actually come through the floor right here and go up and you see these little levers that attach to arms that reach over to the bells and that's how they ring. But I wanted us to be up here for another reason. Because as you get up higher, you always get a different perspective on things. And as we start a new year, it's good to think about what's ahead. And I wanted to ask the youth that are here with me what they think and look forward to in 2021. So would you each share with us something you're looking forward to in 2021. All right. So Joel, what are you looking forward to in 2021? I'm looking forward to being with friends and being in groups. Okay, thank you. Michael, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to going to high school. Excellent. Madeline, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to all the performances that I have. And Ava? I'm looking forward to exploring my new city. Those are great things to look forward to for this next year. I'm glad you're up here with me and I'm glad you're up here with me too because I want us to be able to look at things from a different perspective as we approach this new year. I don't know whether 2021 is going to be better or worse than 2020, but being up here helps me to remember as I look forward to things in this next year, I can only see so much of what this year is to come and anticipate so much of what's in this year to come. I can't see things that well even at this height, but our God who has perfect vision of the future can see what's coming for all of us. And so as we begin this new year, and as you think of things that you look forward to in this next year, and I hope you'll do that uh, following our worship today, that you'll keep in mind that while you may not have perfect vision of the future, our God does. And let me remind you of these words, Peter's words to Jesus. Many of the disciples were turning away from following Jesus. Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. As I think about that, and as I ponder what's coming in the new year with hopes and dreams, I know that God has perfect vision for the future. And so by keeping my focus on him and on his word, I'll have what I need to welcome in this new year. So Carla, is going to continue to ring in our new year. And I hope you'll join us now in singing the hymn, Our God, Our Help in Ages Past, Our Hope for Years to Come. perspective. When you get a chance to get a different view of things as up here to look around a little, it gives you an opportunity to look out and to think and to remember and to reflect. And looking back at 2020 it was a year that uh, you may have had some very good things in and may have had some things that occurred that were not so great. 
perhaps you didn't get to grieve at, a, at the death of a loved one like you normally would have in this past year, or not been able to connect with people like you normally would have, or maybe you didn't conduct yourself like you normally would have. And perhaps in this year, there were things that you heard about, ache about, and regret. But let me tell you this, that's why Jesus died on the cross and rose again for you and for me, is so that we would have forgiveness for those things that didn't go so well. And I want to encourage you with this as you look forward to this next year, is that the statistics are beginning to show that for the people who have fared better than others through this past year, the year coming to an end, are the people that still stayed connected with their church and with worship. For me, that makes sense because with your eyes on Jesus, we have a new perspective and we can look ahead with hope. So as you make your plans for this next year, keep worship in front of you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we think about this year and the perspective that we have had on it, we give thanks that you've been with us in it. And as we look ahead to the future, we do so asking that you'd be with us too. We lift up to you all those who are hurting or suffering in any way right now, that you would restore their health. We pray for our nation and in this next year that you would bless us with people that are united and care for each other and love one another. As we look to this next year, we pray that you would bless our homes and our congregation that we might be able to continue to share the good news of Jesus Christ, that as we ring in this new year, we would do so with our focus and our perspective on you. As we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. The saying is that hindsight is 2020. And looking back on this past year that we can see in the rear view mirror, I can say I'm glad it's coming to an end. While I may not be able to see into the future, we know that God does. And so as we begin this new year, we can do so knowing that we've got a God who sees ahead and that we go into it with his blessing. So take with you this blessing from our Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Mm -hmm.